Hey guys, this is Mr. Crayfish and welcome back to my Redstone Tutorials. In this tutorial today, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to build this password locked 3x3 piston door. Now before I start, I just want to give credit to Etho. I used his concept for the 3x3 piston door in this design and it's made it a whole lot simpler for you guys because I would have had to build a separate um, T flip-flop switch, which now we don't actually have to, which is really awesome, so it's really simple. But anyway, what we're going to do is we're gonna chuck this cheese item here into this hoppy here and basically that will open up the door here and this is fully configurable so pop out another item in and we'll close it now obviously you wouldn't do that so you um, put it in put it in the hopper here walk over to the other side hit that pressure plate and it will close the door behind you now if you want to get out just simply trigger the pressure plate and then just walk straight through and you can leave now knowing safely that your items are behind well your precious items are behind this door and the only way you can get in is by having this paper here with the password cheese on it and popping it into that hopper there so there we go I'm going to be teaching you guys how to build this today so what you are going to need is 28 redstone dust one redstone torch six redstone repeaters one redstone comparator one block of redstone one stone pressure plate, ten sticky pistons, two hoppers, one chest, one slab of your choice, I'm using stone, nine glowstone, and sixty-four blocks of your choice. Now I've just got a few extras just because I'm going to be doing some decorating. So the first thing that we are going to do is dig down three blocks, so one two three and I'm going to place our chest and then our two hoppers on top of that now when you're jumping up and placing them make sure you're crouching at the same time so you don't open up the GOI then to the left of it we're going to dig down two blocks the next one we're going to dig down four blocks and then this last one three blocks Now on this first block here, you want to place your redstone comparator facing away from the hopper. Down below here, what we want to do is come in this hole, you want to dig out this block under the block the redstone comparator is on, and then you want to also dig the block one behind it as well. So back there, you want to place two redstone dust in that hole, redstone torch on this right side of this block here, redstone on top of that block, then on this half of this block here get your stone slab out and place it on the top half then get your redstone repeater and place it on top of this slab in the same direction as the comparator here then place a block of your choice um, on top of this redstone here then to the right of the hopper we want to dig down two blocks and then three dig out this block here actually two more times, redstone repeater at the end here facing towards this block here, place a block on top of that, now hold crouch and then right click so we don't adjust the repeater settings and then two redstone down like so. Now we're going to come to the left here and what you want to do is jump on this block in front of here and dig down four, so that's one, two, three, four, place a, place a sticky piston facing upwards place a block on top. Then we want to dig out these blocks to the right here, three deep, so we want to do this two times, so one, two, three, and then one, two, three. Get one of your redstone repeaters and we're going to place it facing away from this block here, so like that, and then put a piece of redstone on that block there. Now what we want to do is come on this block here and we want to dig down two times then we want to do this across another seven times I think one two three four five six times so it should be seven long so one two three four five six seven what we want to do is dig out this middle block here, so this is the fourth one along, so one, two, three, four, dig out that, 
and then you want to place redstone all along here. On this middle one, what we're going to do is place a sticky piston facing upwards, so simply just jump, right click, and then you want to place a block of your choice on top of the sticky piston. Then at the ends here, we're going to dig out one block, and then pop two redstone so it comes up to the top here. Now on this left side here, what we're going to do, place glowstone on top of this redstone here, and then one on top of this redstone here, put two redstone down like that, and then put another block of glowstone on top of the redstone, and then glowstone on the top of that one. Then what you want to do is get your sticky pistons, and we want to place one um, facing towards the center here, so one there, one there, and then one at the top, so three in a column. Then on this side we're going to do the same thing but we're going to do an extra bit for the top piston so one here, redstone on top of that, one there, redstone on top of there, one on there, redstone on top of that and then we need to build this up a couple more steps so you place a block on the side like that, up one more, place another block, up one more and then just place this one next to there and then place Three glowstone, uh, three redstone on top of these glowstone. Then do the same here. So we need a three, three high column of pistons. So one, two, three, and then for this next one, we want to place it next to this glowstone here, facing downwards like that. And then you can place your blocks of choice in front of those sticky pistons. Now coming to the back here we want to leave one space and then we want to dig down three blocks so one, two, three. Then we want to dig three to the right here so one, two, three. And then we want to dig towards our contraption so one, two, three. And then you'll notice that we end up at this redstone here. Place one redstone repeater facing into this block here. Dig out this block and place a sticky piston facing upwards. Block of your choice on top. And then for these two here, place two redstone repeaters and put them on the full setting. Then at the back here, place a block, redstone, and then block on top of that. And then put your pressure plate on top of this block here. Now before we do anything, make sure that you dig out these two blocks in the in between here and then just place one back on top because we don't want um, this redstone here powering the block that was there because then it would power this piston so make sure that you uh, remove this block here. Now one last thing that we've got to do is come back to the start here and where our redstone comparator is, dig out the block next to it and then the one under it place a block of redstone in there and then your last piece of redstone on top of that redstone block. Now we need to configure the lock. Now there are a couple of options which you can do. The first thing that we need to do first though is we need to get out four beds. Now I recommend that you just use beds because um, they're simple to make in survival and uh, yeah, they don't need much resources. So what you need to do is on this bottom dropper here we're going to place four beds in but make sure that they're in the last four slots here. Then you need to get out 63 items of your choice. Now this is where you can kind of customize it. So you can either get 63 diamonds, so I'm just going to get them out. Or you could get, which would be better, get some paper and then you want to get an anvil. get an anvil, place that down, then put your paper in there and then this is where you can put your password so we might make it cheese, we'll get that out and then we're going to get 63 of them so you just remove one of them and then you want to place these 63 items of your choice so you can either use a diamond or you can have this bit of paper put it in the first slot here and then what we're going to do is we're actually going to create some more because we've only got one at the moment now as you see when I put the paper in the doors will close and then I put another one in the doors will open so obviously when you open them you walk over to the other side here 
hit this pressure plate and the doors will close and if you need to get out just simply tap the pressure plate once and walk straight through and the doors will close behind you. Now we're at this point in this tutorial where I'm going to teach you guys how this works so we're going to start at these hopper here, hoppers here and this is basically where it checks if the item that you throw into this hopper here is a valid item to open this door up so if we chuck it in here um, it will be in there and then if it is the right item it will get pulled down into this uh, slot here and because when that's 64 this means that this item hopper is full because these can only stack um, to one um, these beds here and when it's full um, it actually lets out a signal into this comparator here which then uh, goes into this redstone repeater and it powers this redstone that we placed under this block here um, that turns off this torch down below here which then that goes over to this uh, redstone over here turns that off and allows one of these items to go into this bottom chest below if we, I don't think we can get into it but it will go into that bottom chest below now also that redstone under this block here will power this piston that we placed on there and this is basically a quick pulser and that will just quickly pulse um, these pistons on the outside or these pistons on the door here and this is again using Etho's um, kind of T flip flop um, door design so basically it only goes for half a tick so um, the pistons quickly um, extend and retract and it doesn't actually go the block doesn't go out and in it only goes out once and then when it does it again it pulls it back in so I'll show you um, right now if I just get out uh, one of the uh, cheese papers so if we put that in as you can see it only pulls it um, in and then we put this in again it pushes it out but doesn't pull it back in so it's only it's a really quick pulse to these pistons here so that does it for all the pistons so that goes up this side this goes up that side and then that powers that top one as well and the pressure plate kind of uses the same quick pulses so we press this we press that and as you can see um, let me just do that again it powers that piston there and does a little quick pulse here which um, makes these pistons extend and retract real quick And that's simply how the door works. It's a very simple concept and it's probably something that I'm, something that I'm going to be using in a lot of my designs if I ever um, create redstone doors because I really like how it's kind of a, um, a T flip flop design but it's really simple. Now the last bit I'm going to do is just some decorating. So this is how you would want to lay out your door if you had one. So we're going to put uh, three wood there. Then we're going to have three wood coming across like that three coming up and then three across like this now I'm going to do that on the other side too so three there and then you also want to um, fill in these holes so place a block there place a block there one there and then one there so we don't see any um, we don't see into the uh, redstone and then you can do whatever you want now so this is basically our door so there we go we press this closes the door press it again opens it or we can use the password from the other side here Oops. pop that in there closes and then opens, go through the other side, and closes the door. So there we go guys, that was the password locked 3x3 piston door. Hopefully you enjoyed, and if you did, make sure you hit that like button. If you want to see more redstone tutorials, make sure you subscribe. And if you have any ideas for redstone tutorials, let me know in the comments because I do read them. Now before I end off this video, I just want to let you know that the world download has been updated. So you can go ahead and download the map and take a look at all the contraptions for yourself. And that is going to end it off. I'll see you guys later. Bye.